So I spent the majority of my life using Windows. In every school I ever went to, we used Windows PCs, and it just became my operating system of choice simply because it was so much more accessible. And because of the fact that there was no way for me to get my hands on a Mac, it, I just defaulted to Windows, and I really had no idea what was brewing on the other side. So here is why I like Mac OS more and why I switched. What is poppin' guys? Welcome to Today's Tech with Lando where I bring you a brand new perspective on your favorite pieces of tech. Now if you're new, consider subscribing and help me reach 2,000 subs by the end of the year. So the very first computer that I remember my older brother and I having was the iMac G3. He had the lime, I had the grape color, and my mom actually had the Blueberry iBook G3. Now I distinctly remember how easy it was for me to navigate the operating system even as a complete computer noob at the time at the age of like six or seven. And, I mean we mostly just used them to play games like backyard football or practice typing but I remember that it was a really simple but enjoyable experience. Now fast forward almost two decades and that still rings true. I'm currently running macOS Catalina after permanently switching from Windows 10 four months ago. Now, this isn't my first experience with macOS in recent years. Two years ago, when I first kicked off the channel, I needed to make sure that I had a machine powerful enough for 4K video editing. And at the time, I had an HP laptop with an i5 and 6 gigs of RAM and 750 gig hard drive that was in no way, shape, or form going to be able to handle 4K video editing. So after much consideration between building a PC or buying an iMac, I ended up going with the 2017 27-inch 5K iMac and it worked beautifully. I was immediately reminded of the old iMac G3 that I'd had as a kid, but obviously way more modern. I loved how bright and clear the display was and the overall feel of macOS Mojave was just so aesthetically different than Windows 10. Much more attractive, if you will. But long story short, my buddy Keith moved out of town with all of his camera gear and I slacked off so I, I really no longer had the need for a restrictive two-in-one desktop. It literally sat at my desk and I occasionally used it for faster browsing than I could do on my phone so I ended up selling it for a 15-inch uh, Lenovo Yoga 730 with an i7, 16 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA GTX 1050, and a half terabyte SSD so that I didn't have to sit at a desk to get some computer work done. And again, fast forward a couple of years and here we are. So four months ago when I restarted the channel, I thought the Lenovo Yoga could easily get the job done with the spec list that it had. I, I used it five days a week for work and it was flawless for that, but as soon as I started editing 4K video in Adobe Premiere Pro, the fans would kick on and run constantly at full blast. It sounded like a damn drone was about to take off and it really just struggled to scrub through a 4K timeline. So I said, okay, screw this. I went ahead, did some research on the latest iMacs and thought back to how well my previous iMac performed and that was it, I was sold. So again, I ended up purchasing the 2019 27 inch 5K iMac with an i5, eight gigs of RAM and the one terabyte fusion drive. And I of course had the same outstanding results from a few years prior. When it comes to Final Cut Pro 10, it was just super easy to learn coming from Premiere Pro. Not only does it look far less complex, but it is less complex and I've been able to settle right into my workflow. The UI is simpler and more aesthetically pleasing to me and I can easily scrub through the timeline with very few dropped frames. With Premiere Pro on the Lenovo Yoga, that simply was not the case for me. There were drop frames all over the place, not to mention the fact that it would take a few hours to render my project as opposed to maybe 20 minutes in Final Cut on the iMac. And just to be clear, this is not a dig at uh, Premiere Pro. This is just the experience that I had using a well-equipped Windows PC. It reminds me of those PC versus Mac commercials. But you should see what this guy can do with a spreadsheet. It's insane. <laughs> oh, shucks. Yeah, and he knows that I'm better at life stuff, like music, pictures, movies, stuff like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what exactly do you mean by better? But no, there's, there's also so many high-quality plugins that enhance the presentation of your projects, and they just integrate so easily with Final Cut. Let me know down below the subscribe button your experience with either Premiere Pro or Final Cut. 
So that's just my personal experience with a Mac getting the job done better than my more equipped Windows PC could. Now, as far as more day-to-day -day specifics as to why I switched, the first thing that comes to mind is the very clean UI. I feel like the dock was engineered so nicely. It's resizable, it's hideable, and I can pin apps all just like you can on Windows, except the dock also suggests recently used apps, which is very convenient, and I keep it hidden away so the desktop is just a 5K wallpaper in all its glory. And I'm not one to keep any documents or icons on my desktop so it stays clean. I really like the translucence of the menu bar, the finder window, and, and various elements throughout the UI. It really contributes to the overall aesthetic that makes macOS what it is. And when I go to launch an app in Launchpad, you just don't see any ads like you could on a Windows PC. It's not at all intrusive in that way, and it's a bit more private, and it's just much easier to see all of my apps if I need something that isn't kept in the dock. And as a bonus, I think the icons on Mac are extremely visually appealing, especially the new ones in Mac OS Big Sur that have a more sort of playful vibe to them. Now even the settings are very well laid out and organized. It's super easy to see where to go, uh, even though I'm sure most people just use the search bar. And one of my favorite elements of macOS is the ability to preview files, photos, or even videos simply by selecting the file and then pressing the space bar. I'm telling you, the ingenuity here is just next level. Now, when it comes to navigation, there's obviously tons of similarities, but to me, it just seems like macOS is a little bit more minimal yet intuitive. You have the option of showing the dock at all times or hiding it away, and the menu bar just sits at the top of the display, almost like an out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And macOS gestures are so much more intuitive. I've been able to get very familiar with them in my very short amount of time on Mac, whereas with the majority of my life on Windows, I never really got around to learning them simply because there isn't a Magic Mouse equivalent. The majority of my time on Windows at work is at a desk with a mouse that has nowhere near the amount of versatility that Magic Mouse has. So gestures to swipe through desktops, access mission control, zoom in on a web page, or even go back and forth between web pages really simplifies my workflow and allows for much better efficiency over my personal experience with Windows. And when it comes to hardware reliability and optimization, it's obviously not a direct comparison since I didn't switch from a Microsoft laptop, but I've had such a better experience. Like I previously mentioned, my Lenovo Yoga struggled to do what my lesser spec iMac could do. Now, for the record, I have gone ahead and upgraded from 8 to 24 gigs of RAM just to help with running you know, programs like uh, Final Cut, After Effects, and Chrome. But even prior to the upgrade, the 8 gigs was able to hold me over, and I can only attribute that to the optimization of the hardware and software, allowing them to run beautifully in tandem. Oh, and I've since sold the Lenovo Yoga for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and I'll link my first impressions down below that subscribe button. Definitely go check it out. So all in all, I like macOS more than Windows due to the aesthetic superiority and ingenuity that's present all across the user interface. Features like you know, gestures and multiple home screens are better executed, and privacy and security really aren't an issue. The overall optimization of macOS is unmatched, and I'm much happier with my Final Cut Pro 10 experience over Premiere Pro on Windows, especially on this 5K display. I think it'd be really tough to find an equivalent display and overall experience on a computer that runs Windows. Now, individually, these features and differences might sound silly, but collectively, it makes for a significantly better user experience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just how the cookie crumbles. Alrighty guys, thank you very much for sticking around until the end. Please just do me a real slight, slight favor by leaving a like on the video, dropping a comment down below, and if you like tech as much as I do, then subscribe to the channel for a brand new perspective on your favorite pieces of tech. But most importantly, most importantly, after subscribing, hit the bell so that you can be notified every single week when I upload more videos discussing my experience with today's dopest tech. That's all for now, guys. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tech with Lando. Alrighty, guys, that's all for now. Be safe out there. Peace and love.